Hi everybody, Hell Carnage here with another early thoughts video, this time on No Rest for the Wicked. Uh, no Rest for the Wicked is a game made by the Ori and the Blind Forest devs, Moon Studios. I recently finished up a sponsored portion, two different sponsored portions actually for this game, and uh, also a, definitely a few extra hours on my own time. And I have to say, No Rest for the Wicked is awesome. Now this game is still early access, so there are some bugs and some performance issues and some, you know, weirdness like ledges not working properly and things like that. But this game has a direction and a design which is hugely unique and extremely expensive, or is extremely uh, uh, interesting and fun. So what this game is, somebody said there's something on your eyebrows and now I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. What this game is, is it is an ARPG which of course immediately makes you think of Path of Exile, Diablo, uh, more recently Last Epoch. And it is an ARPG. However, it is not your traditional looter ARPG. So if most ARPGs were like a Diablo style looting system, this game is a Dark Souls style ARPG looting system. And also gameplay wise. So in this game, instead of fighting hordes and hordes of enemies for tons of random loot and things like that. It is a slower, more methodical, more souls-like progression. You're, you're slowly working your way through one world. It is a story experience with rich characters, amazing cutscenes and graphics, and very much a, a persistent world that's kind of going on beside. There's lots of exploration in this game, lots of side items off the beaten path where you have to like find hidden ledges or climb up into rafters and things like that. It's a very, it's an ARPG, but it's a very different feel. It is a, it is a more Souls-like feel instead of a frenetic, fast Diablo, Last Epoch, Path of Exile experience. Frankly, I love it. There have been some games that have kind of played with this in the past, a more slower, a, you know, standard ARPG feel, but this game is, is a great... This game is a great example where I feel like Hades was kind of a shot to the butt of roguelites in that format, where roguelites had existed before Hades. But Hades was one of the first times we really saw kind of like, oh, this is what this can be like. I feel like we're kind of seeing that with No Rest for the Wicked and the more Souls-like ARPGs. So where Hades was kind of like the super stylized, well-made, uh, uh, roguelike, this is like the super stylized, well-made Souls-like ARPG. So it's fun. Uh, it's really fun. And, uh, and go from there. Somebody in chat said, wait until he finds out Dark Souls is an ARPG. I know we've, we've had this discussion so many times where action RPG is probably one of the most umbrella of umbrella terms in terms of game genres. When I say ARPG in this video, I'm specifically talking about top-down click move or twin shooter style games. I'm, I'm not talking about Diablo style ARPG. I'm talking about like um, what used to be called isometric, but actually isometric is only for 2D graphics. So you can't actually use that term for 3D graphics, but we're talking about like more, more uh, two thirds perspective Diablo style ARPGs. Yeah. But anyway, on that note, now that we've gotten to the end of this video, uh, this, my early thoughts of this game are pretty much nothing but positive outside of the early access stuff. Um, the game plays well. It feels good. I love the world. The cutscenes and graphics have been incredible. Um, every character we've talked to so far has been voiced. The, the world looks rich in lore. It looks interesting. Uh, the gameplay is very rewarding in its tacticalness, which I think is great. Um, the, there are some, some game design things that I think will be worked out in early access, kind of like, you know, you're crafting Harvesting stuff, having durability. There's there's some things that I think they'll want to they'll, they'll want to play with. But again, the game's in early access, and Moon Studios has made it very clear that they're going to be developing this game based on feedback from you. So if you do end up wanting to pick up this game, as a final reminder at the end of this video, you can find it at co.tv slash no rest. There's a link in the very top of the description. It'll save you eight bucks, and a portion of your purchase goes directly to help supporting this channel. So co.tv slash no rest for that. And uh yeah, thanks to all that do it. So anyway, we will make another thoughts video when this game comes out and we do a full playthrough of it. But for now, my early thoughts on this are, this game looks awesome. I had a great time with it and I hope you do too. All right, that's it for this one. See you guys later. Thanks as always for being here and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.